All right, so I got the frozen case. The recorder is not holding temperature. And it's not. So again, I got no airflow up here. This is a very eventful day. See, it's a bunch of the same stuff with, with me here. It's always frozen cases and always washing cases. I'm gonna get the product out of the bottom. Well, I don't, but I, if I don't do it, it'll take them like an hour to do it. Get it put in the back and then start uh, taking the bottom panels off. All right, so this one is different. It's a completely different design and it's a stupid design. I gotta take, I gotta take the wall off. So I think I gotta empty this entire door to see if the entire evaporator is frozen. If it's all frozen, then I gotta empty, or this whole case has to be empty. And there you have it. That's what it looks like. So, this is such a stupid design. Husband did a much better job with the RL4s instead of the RLT4. Because you gotta take all the food out to get to that. All that's gotta come out. All right, so here's what I'm getting from all this fans are running this is c7d c7c c7d and all of these are in defrost the fans are off so why are the fans running over here i think we probably got a relay that's stuck up on the top of here all right let me see if i can explain this well these are our relays here this relay Right here, piggybacks over to this relay. We've got one wire, comes over here, which is neutral. The other one, right here, goes down into the case. And down to this, right here. This thermostat switch. All right, so I found the problem, I believe. Right here. Uh, this is the defrost termination, and it, it's a, it's an open circuit. It's supposed to be a closed circuit. With a closed circuit, that would shut off the fans. So, I'm going to fix that. Alright, so this is that relay. Uh, I'm going to fix it, and repair it, get it taped up nice, put it back, and see if that uh, delays my fans from starting. If it does, I believe that's going to fix the issue. All right, so that's what I did. Got it wrapped up real nice here. So I'm gonna mount it, and then very carefully, because those are hot, connect my electrical to them, then wrap those really nicely, see what happens. Okay, so when you do your wire nuts, make sure that um, you cut enough wire, put both of make both the ends same, you know, same length to where they go in the wire nut, good twisting your wire nut and you just twist it until it's nice and nice and snug like that good and then in my case I'm gonna make a U-turn with the wire take the tape like that and so like that take that good about like so the other one and you just want to cut the insulation you don't even want to squeeze hard if you got new cutters it doesn't take much okay so do the same thing the other side you're gonna make them you don't want to put the wire nut on there if they're like this they gotta be equal they got in the same place so the wire nut grabs them both evenly now I extended my leads because they were a little short. Okay, I've installed my switch, ran the wires through down there, brought them up here with these ones, put them all together there so I have something easy to work with. Now I'm going to connect them. When I connect them, that should close the circuit. And it should open the circuit for the fans. And the fans should stop. Alright, for the moment of truth, the fans should stop when I do this. I'll let y'all watch me. Good. 
very carefully because it's probably hot. Of course, water strippers would be nice. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see if I'm right. Ha 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 ha. Damn, man. Damn. That's what I call professional diagnostics right there. However, I need to let my fans run a little longer because I want the rest of this ice to be frost. So, I'm going to unplug it. And the fans are going to come back on. That's what I'm talking about, right there. All right, got them nice and taped up. Tucked away. Way back there, can't even see them. All right, so now with all the panels on, everything connected, fans are off. If the switch is working, when I turn the refrigeration on, there should be a, a, a fairly decent delay before those come on, which is normal. So let's see. I'm not gonna make you wait the whole time. But all I'm doing is waiting on fans to start. Okay. And they're back on. So this was a callback. The first guy who came out didn't get didn't get this figured out. He had to empty all these cases out, he defrosted them and didn't find a problem. However, I did. So I did a good job. I like it when things work out good. Now, just wait for it to get down to temp, which it shouldn't take too long because there's not much food in it. Gotta put those panels back in. Alright, we're just about all set. It's going down really quick. Put all the shelves back in. This turned out to be an eventful call after all. Thought it was just washing a case. I was wrong. Thanks for watching.